okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this image and we're going to fix it up and colorize it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it. And before I crop it, I'm going to straighten it. So I'm going to unlock the lock layer here so I can free transform and rotate. And I'm going to eyeball this. I'm going to go to image. I'm sorry, edit, free transform. And I'm going to grab by the corner. And I just want to straighten the bottom where those kids' feet are. I think that looks good. Let's commit. And then let's free transform, edit, free transform. I'm sorry, let's uh, um, crop. Let's bring it in now. And click the commit button. That looks much better. All right, now let's do a um, level adjustment on this image. I think it needs a level adjustment. And let's look at brightening up the midtones, pinching in the lights a little bit, pinching in the darks a little bit. I think that's an improvement as well. So, yeah. A little bit better tonal quality there. Now I'm going to click into the bottom layer, and I'm going to colorize the image. This, this, uh, we looked at using um, a duotone and duotone effects, which paint the whole color uh, a, a tint. In this case, we're going to hand tint the photo. So I'm going to take this bottom layer. I'm going to copy it, drag it down to the Make New Layer button, and copy it. With that bottom layer selected, I mean the top layer selected, I'm going to go to normal and set it to color. And that allows me to color the image. Then I'm going to take that top layer and set the opacity to say 50%. And then I grab my paintbrush, standard paintbrush, choose any color I want. And use the left and right square bracket keys to change the size of the brush. And I can hand tint the photo. Now, if I paint over the edge, I just paint over with a different color. So I'm not bothering to make selections or anything like that. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and letting it. And then, of course, you, you want to be careful. But uh, that's pretty much how you hand tint your photographs. Okay. If you've got that set up, you just uh, while away the time, put in some, some good tunes and be nice and patient. Remember to change the size of the brush. Okay. Let's find a nice skin tone. So I'll go in and Something about right there probably work good for Caucasian flesh. Let's paint that on there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Maybe a little darker. Well, not too much darker. There we go. And let's see. Let's say this kid's some kind of a brown over here. And that's how you hand tint your photos. Just take your time, be patient. If, it, if the image is overexposed, you'll find that it's difficult to paint into it. But if it's, uh, if it's got uh, a good value, there shouldn't be any problems with you being able to hand tint. Let's see, that's already starting to come to life. And that's your uh, hand tinting exercise.